We need to add some sounds to the collisions. Actually, you know that there's no sounds in outer space, but this is not a science show, so... Anyway, put the play action before the wait one second, otherwise you will hear the explosion when the ship is respawned and not when it's destroyed. The asteroids are supposed to break into smaller pieces when they get hit. This can be a little tricky, so let's give them an instance variable called type with initial value of 2. This will represent the size of the asteroid. Now in the event, when the bullet collides with the asteroid, add a sub-event and check if the asteroid variable type is equal to 2. Then, set it to once. Also, delete the destroy asteroid action in the parent event. Then, set the asteroid frame to choose 2 or 3, which are the sprites for the smaller pieces. So far, the asteroid is actually just changing its frame to a smaller one. We're gonna use two local variables to store the asteroid's speed and angle of motion. Name one parent angle and the other parent speed. Then set parent angle to the angle of motion of the asteroid and parent speed to the bullet speed of the asteroid. Move those, move those two actions to the top, then after we change the animation frame, set the asteroid set angle of motion to parent angle plus random minus 15 plus 15 to see a small variation in the trajectory. Now go to system Create object, asteroids, add asteroid X and Y. 
This new asteroid is now the active object, so any action will affect this one only, and not the original. Copy the change frame and angle actions by control drag. And set bullet speed to parent speed. Now we have a big asteroid that breaks into two smaller ones when it gets hit. Finally, create another sub-event to check if the type is equal to 1. Then destroy the asteroid. But be sure to place that event before the type 2. So far we covered the basic of the game, the next video will cover the user interface, lives and score system. Thanks for watching.